Jersey Shore. Hey, Scooter, how about our, our Housemaster Home Inspection Twitter poll question of the day? Which professional sport are you most confident will finish the season right now? Major League Baseball, 26%. NBA, 39 And NHL, 35 At Locker Room, 973 is my Twitter handle. Or at 973ESPN, you can cast your vote there. Scooter, I'm, I'm shocked. I thought Major League <laughs> Baseball would, would run away with it, but right now the NBA at 39%. Well, I think it's more the length of the season that people are thinking about, not as much as the close proximity of players with each other. But uh, so, well, we'll see. it'll be interesting. We'll see how all right, they all so finish. Each, yep. So each and every Saturday during the summer, Scooter, you know, the, the Beach Patrol is a major, uh, major business down here. These guys are – it's important. They protect lives. But the races are, are a lot of fun, and uh, this year, uh, I don't know if we're going to get – most of the races have been canceled, and so each and every week we talk to a, uh, a chief from one of the beach patrols up and down the coast. Let's go to Cape May. Let's go to the Times River Volkswagen Sports Hotline and welcome into the locker room the newly minted chief of the Cape May Beach Patrol, Jeff Wright. What's up, Jeff? Happy Fourth of July to you, Bill, and thanks for having me on, my friend. Hey, hey, Jeff, uh, I spoke to you during the week, and, you know, we're really disappointed that uh, the racing has been uh, postponed. I mean, they're canceled for, for most of July. You guys just had your Chiefs meeting, uh, what, I guess last week. There's still, uh, uh, still hope to have maybe the Margates and the jerseys. Is that correct? Yeah, the, uh, the Chiefs meeting uh, was up in Stone Harbor, and we met as an organization, and um, – Taking everything into account, we decided uh, that we were going to have a Zoom meeting sometime around mid-July to try and figure out if we could at least try and get the Margates and the jerseys to go, yes. You know, each and every year, uh, well, the last couple of years, Jeff, the locker room has been live on the beach covering the Margate Memorials and, and the, the South Jersey Championships. Of course, I'm down there with my microphone with all the other at all the other races recording getting interviews of some of the winners of the races. Um, very popular down here at the Jersey Shore and very competitive. It's uh, it's extremely competitive. Um, I always tell my friends that don't have a lot of familiarity with the Jersey Shore that you're pretty much a Division One athlete somewhere uh, on a scholarship if you're going top three in our races. Uh, People take our races extremely seriously and are very dedicated, gifted athletes. And um, there's a a rather large following at pretty much every race. After the uh, meeting last Thursday night, I had a little chance to uh, talk with a good friend of mine, Matt Kelm from Longport, and we were trying to figure out the uh, guesstimation of the crowd size at last year's uh, jerseys. He guessed 3,500. I guessed closer to 4,000. So, yeah. Racing in the summertime has become almost a rite of passage, and that's what you do on a Friday night as you go watch your favorite lifeguards compete. And I, and I hope that uh, we, we contributed to the success of that. Scotty McKay, you and I were up on the truck the last couple of years. Uh, I would say you have to be maybe in excess of 4,000. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's hard to tell because it's so it's so long right down the beach because of the way it's spread. Right, it's spread out. So and it's and it's still deep in people. But hey, Jeff, you know, obviously, you know, Cape May was, uh, you know, did a great job every year with the Super Athlon. Is that completely? I mean, that's. I think that's one of the races that still could be somewhat even pushed back and held because you know it's it's not like there's 10,000 people there sometimes it's it's more like you know it's an individual race and it's a great race is there any possibility that you guys could still pull that off um no it's definitely uh canceled this year definitely um, out. okay you know i've been you know obviously um the pandemic is superseding uh everything right now in the health and safety of the competitors and the people needed to um you know, put it on. I've also canceled the uh, junior lifeguard program. It was a very hard decision, certainly not one that I didn't agonize over. Uh, we're going to run it again next year, but we're just trying to err uh, on the side of caution right. right now to the point where I'm not even allowing any of my guys or girls, any anybody uh, right now to even row doubles right now. I'm making everyone row singles. I'm just trying to do the best job I can in keeping my staff safe at this point. 
Right. Well, Jeff, we'd be remiss if we didn't uh, congratulate you on your yeah. newly your new assignment, your new position as chief of the Cape May Beach Patrol. That's got to be uh, that's, that's got to be pretty satis satisfying, gratifying. Uh, it's very gratifying. Uh, everybody always asks what it's like to step into uh, Buzzy Shoes, who was here for 40 years, such a, a looming presence on the Jersey Shore. And all I can say is, is I was a member of uh, Buzzy's team that he compiled here for 36 of those 40 years. So uh, I was ingrained in that culture. And uh, basically, it's just trying to maintain our safety record and just trying to continue to grow our, our organization and just continue to do small things, you know, to move us forward. But uh, it, it's um, it's very gratifying. It's satisfying. And it's a bit humbling uh, when you realize that, you know, in the 2.5 miles of beach that we're responsible for here, uh, you know, public safety becomes your paramount performance. Yeah, well, you know, listen, Jeff, when I got on Ocean, Ocean City's Beach Patrol in 77. Buzzy was there. I know that. So that's at least, <laughs> you know, those are some big shoes to fill, you know, because he's been yeah, a staple okay. down there, an icon. <laughs> Yeah, he's an icon. Um, him, him and I are uh, very, very close even uh, to this day. There was a really nice article in the press about him, um, you know, a week ago. And um, I feel lucky to have worked with him. Um, I, I look at it as just a natural right, right now of passing where he, he truly wanted to retire. And um, he felt that things were in good hands. And, and like I said, it's just a matter of, you know, continuing moving the ball forward and making some small changes and, you know, just continue on a, a, a very classy organization with whom he and I are very proud of at this point. We're talking with Jeff Reif, the chief of the uh, Cape May Beach Patrol. Jeff, uh, I spoke to you about your uh, test. You just took on 18 new lifeguards. Any, any prospective racers in that group? Yeah, I'm really. Uh, we we got a couple. Um, one of my uh, my rowers right now, my big heavy bow man, uh, rows at George Washington, and he brought up a couple uh, of his friends with him. So I have a couple uh, crew guys here, which I'm real excited about developing them. You know, as the summers go on, um, I have a couple really gifted female athletes uh, that came into my lap uh, this summer. So just some solid uh, athletes all around, a couple of very gifted runners. One girl can pretty much do it all. So I, I, I'm looking forward, you know, to try and help in the work with these, you know, new young kids and teach them and hopefully get them ready here in the summer or two to get some competition under their belt. Hey, Jeff, are all your beaches, uh, all your stands opened up? And how you, what are you doing to, um, to um, you know, be COVID responsible on the beach patrol? Yeah, we um, – that, this is going to be a mouthful here. Uh, we have 26 lifeguard stands. Uh, all of them are open right now. I have a full complement of lifeguards. I was able to take uh, 18 new rookies this year uh, and get them trained. Um, as far as COVID procedures are going right now, I'm only allowing one guard on the stand. One guard is up on the stand. One guard is standing at the top of the berm and then allowing them to switch off. Uh, no one is doing any doubles rowing right now. I'm trying to have some singles, proficient singles people uh, out there rowing and paddle boards out there to try and help manage the crowd to be as proactive and preventative as we can so we don't really have to go in and pull anyone in. Um, our locker rooms here are closed. People are showering outside and, you know, a lot of mask wearing and any first aid call is a surgical mask and gloves on. So, uh, so far, knock on wood, things have been going fairly smoothly. Um, I don't think anyone on the Jersey Shore or anyone in the world, for that matter, is happy with the way things are going. But I think right now we're trying to do everything to the best of our ability to try and make sure that COVID doesn't make it into our staff. Well, Jeff, Cape May is a beautiful community. I know the uh, weather's been great. The water's been warm. We've had some waves. And uh, just wish uh, we could get this racing season in, but we understand – that uh, we have to uh, remain safe and keep people healthy. So let's uh, let's hope that we can get the Margates and the South Jersey life lifeguard races in to at least have some some form of normalcy towards the end of the summer. Yeah, I think that would make a lot of of guys and girls really happy. And I know some parents that have um, 
you know, their sons and daughters as athletes would love to see that. And, um, you know, as both of you guys alluded to, there's people that you see at races that you don't get a chance to see a lot of out in, you know, the community if they're four or five towns away from you. So it becomes a social event and a chance, you know, to be able to talk to somebody that you haven't seen maybe in a couple months. And, you know, if that were taken away, that would also be, you know, a sad, you know, um, situation also uh, on this whole situation. All right, Jeff. Well, listen, man, thank you so much for taking time out on the 4th of July Saturday. I know you're uh, working today, keeping people safe. Thank you so much, Jeff, and hope to see you soon. Thank you guys very much. And you guys have a happy 4th and stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. You too, Jeff. Jeff. Reif. There you go, Scooter. Jeff Rife, chief guy. of the Cape May Beach Patrol. Great swimmer. He was a great swimmer, man. All right. The second hour of the locker room is brought to you by the Great Bay Country Club, where it's not just golf, it's fun. Make Great Bay Country Club your club. Great Bay is an award-winning private golf club where you are greeted by name. It's home in the three-hour and 58-minute round. You can play on their 18-hole championship golf course, enjoy fine dining, or experience lively atmosphere in the pub. There's a full calendar of golf and social events throughout the season to appeal to everyone. Right now, they're taking reservations for weddings, uh, banquets, uh, parties for your business. Uh, great Bay is a great place to have a put on a uh, – have a banquet. They do a great job with their catering and everything else. Hey, hey, Scooter, that, that course is always in magnificent shape. Always is, man. There's never a bad day at Great Bay. Hey, listen, what, go down there. When you get there, when you get down there, say hello to uh, Radio Ron Ralston for us, Tim Hotstove, and, of course, Ken Kelly starting everybody off down there. That's Great Bay Country Club in Summers Point, New Jersey. Just about everybody in our area has heard about the Jersey Man and Philly Man magazine run by ex-Philadelphia tight end Ken Dunnick. But were you aware of their private business network they call the Legacy Club? Every month they hold private events at upscale locations in Philadelphia and South Jersey that attract over 200 top business people. If you have an interest in attending one of these events and see it's a fit for your business, send an email to Ken at jerseymanmagazine.com or call him at 856-912-4007 for more information. When we return, Scooter will wrap it up. You're listening to The Locker Room with Billy Schwein on 97.3 ESPN and the 97.3 ESPN mobile app.